Yep, so this is one of those videos that shows you a, a very imperfect outing. I went out a few days ago with a roll of Berger, 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 who knows, uh, Pankro 400 and my Hasselblad. I actually intended to go to an old sawmill, an area in a bay with an old sawmill. And I went over there uh, and I got very difficult lighting. I got very varied lighting. So my metering was difficult enough. Also, my light meter played up. So I had to kind of go with my hinge of what I would do helped with a uh, with an app on my phone. Uh, I've changed my batteries in my light meter now, so it should work again. But I wanted to share this one with you anyway, because I think I got some pretty okay images and I got some not that good, great images, but I didn't get the images I actually intended to, to shoot. So I might redo this one at some point, but you know what? Sometimes you get not what you expect, but you get something that's actually quite decent anyway. So please enjoy this little video and please just join me again for the next one. Yep, so out with the Hasselblad again. It's very difficult conditions. It's very shifting lights. Uh, and uh, I have a weapon up my sleeve. I've got a 400 speed film. I'm shooting box speed. Um, and I'm a little bit <laughs> unsure of how these images might turn out. Because light uh, metering for light is very difficult when you have very shifting conditions. So sometimes you just have to <laughs> kind of go and do a little stab in the dark. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm here down at a little beach that is currently recovering from all the snow. And my first composition was straight out, more or less, uh, trying to find get. Um, all of these man-made things into the picture. Uh, I will walk around a little bit more and I will see what I can find. Uh, but it's just kind of trying to get away from the snow. That is basically what I'm doing today. Hope you'll enjoy this video. If you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I'm generally, in most cases, a landscape shooter. Uh, in this instance, though, I'm not. Today I'm shooting the leftovers from the sawmill that used to be here. Uh, and this was their shipping area. My grandfather actually worked there when it was the sawmill, but you know, that's many, many years ago. Um, so I'm actually now looking for leftovers and remains from that and 
I'm going to try to do something with this one now from this angle and try to get it in a way so that it's aesthetically pleasing but you know please join me and see what I can <laughs> if I can pull it off Just spotted some cool rocks over here, as you can see them over here. I never walk past those. I love rocks. And I'm gonna shoot them now. I'm actually, my light meter gives me f8 at 250 of a second. So, just gonna get my focus right. Here we go. And I'm trying now to crop up most of the sky. I might do some additional cropping here, just get it right. But my focus was now on the on the uh, on the nearest rocks here, uh, and I will carry on up here, I guess, where there's more remains from that sawmill. That was it. A roll of Berger, Berger, Burger, whatever, that thing, Pancro 400. That's not a film that I would normally use, um, but I find that it gives me that little extra gloomy note, gives me a little gloomy feel to the pictures. Uh, it's actually a little bit more grainy than I would normally expect from a 400 speed film. But I've heard that it works really well with Atomal, so that's what I'm going to try. Um, you know, these will not be my best pictures ever. I can tell you that much already. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes your aim just has to be get something. I hope you enjoyed this little video as well, even though it's probably not the best images you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, please enjoy them. Thank you for joining me and please enjoy me in the next one as well.